This is the Samsung Galaxy Note. We saw it unveiled at the IFA show recently, but we've had it in our office and we've had a bit more of an in-depth look. But before we take a look at a few of its key features, we'll just have a general tour of the hardware. Uh, it's got a 5.3 inch AMOLED screen. On the top here, you can see a 3.5 millimeter jack for your headphones. Uh, you've got an eight megapixel camera with flash on the rear. You've got your power button just here, volume rocker here, and a micro USB port at the bottom. But most importantly here at the bottom, next to the microphone, you can see the stylus. Now the stylus gives you a few new features that previous Samsung products such as the Galaxy S2 didn't have. So we'll take a look at those now. First up, if you hold down the button on the stylus and hold it to the screen, it will take a screen grab, which you're then able to annotate like so. Great if you want to uh, take a screen grab of a map and send it to somebody. Another nice feature, if you, again you hold down the button and double tap on the screen, you get your notes. So you can add what you want to write to the note. And if you're copying something from a PDF or from a web page by just pressing here, you can go back to that page and then continue to copy whatever you're writing. Now the stylus will let you control a number of features on the Galaxy Note. However, it won't allow you to control the soft keys that are here. So you've got your menu and your back button. However, if you hold down the button on the pen and sweep from bottom to top, it brings up the menu. And likewise, if you sweep from right to left, it will go back. If you find the stylus a little bit tricky to use, then you can buy as an optional extra a, a pen cover and it still gives you access to that button there. So that was a look at pen UX, but there's also something called motion UX where you use your hand to uh, access a few features. One of them being again, the screen grab. So if you move your palm across the screen like that, you'll get a screen grab. Another feature that you can use motion UX for is to pause music or video. So if we access some music here and play something, And if we want to pause it, we just place our hand over the screen. And lastly, with Motion UX, you're able to rotate your pictures. So if we go to our gallery here, you're able to put your finger on the image and twist it around. So a couple of new applications that we find on the Samsung Galaxy Note are this S Planner and this S Memo feature. So if we go into S Memo, where we can store all our notes, but also take pictures. So uh, if we just write in this one, for example, you can see you can write, and a nice feature is that you're able to change the handwriting to text, and it recognizes my scroll. But uh, better than that, it's great for doing uh, drawings as well, as the screen is sensitive enough and the stylus works well enough for it to detect how heavily you're pressing. And there are a number of different brush strokes that you can use. Next up, we have S Planner, which is a really handy way of quickly adding calendar entries to your calendars. So if I just choose this date and add an entry, I can write meeting. Meeting, there we are. And I can add a time, so 7, a M. There we are. And when I hit save, it will put the meeting in my calendar for seven. And then there's the split view that you have with the Samsung Galaxy Note. Uh, so you're able to look at multiple screens within an application in one go if you like. So a great example is when you're looking at your emails. And because it's got such a large screen, bigger than most mobile phones, uh, you can have your list of emails on your left here, and then the content on the right. It's a really useful feature. It's available in a number of applications, including your calendar, your music, your video players, and so on. So as well as the pen accessory, we've also got a few extras, including a secondary battery charger, a desk dock, a USB and HDMI connector, a windscreen mount for when using it as a sat nav, and a couple of cases, including this one, 
which can be used like a book cover. So that's the Samsung Galaxy Note. It runs Android 2.3, has a 1.4 gigahertz dual core processor and one gig of RAM. Now this product will launch soon in the UK and when it does, we'll be buying it and sending it off to our labs for a full test. But in the meantime, if you want more details on the Samsung Galaxy Note and for full lab-based reviews of hundreds of mobile phones, go to our website at which.co.uk forward slash mobile.